Welcome back guys to this amazing episode of Christianity over Islam with Sam Shaman. A Muslim was silenced after learning Allah is a Muslim who recites the Quran. Let's find out the truth from this amazing video. As you're thinking about it, think about it. You don't have to give me an answer. We can come back later because you're a respectful young man. I pray all the Muslims would die like, like you now. You do believe the Quran is uncreated, right? The uh, Quran is uncreated. Yeah, because if you're Ahl al Sunnah wa Jama'ah, I love the Arabic. It's too bad you Muslims took took the Arabic, man. It's a beautiful language. Ahl al Sunnah wa Jama'ah. If you're part of Sunni Islam, you believe the Quran is Kalam Allah, the speech of Allah, right? Yeah. Is it created or uncreated? Allah created with his knowledge, with his uncreated knowledge. Okay, so is the Quran created or uncreated? That's what I'm asking you. The Quran is created from Allah. It's stuck for Allah. It's stuck for Allah. I know. I know, I know what you're gonna say. I know exactly what you're gonna no, say. No, I have the statements from your scholars of Ahl al Sunnah wa Jama, like the Creed of At Tahawi. The Quran is uncreated. The Creed of At Tahawi and others, not just him, even in a hadith by Abu Dawood, the Quran is uncreated. Ahmad ibn Hanbal, the Quran is uncreated. And even modern scholars are Sunni. Hamza Yusuf, the Quran is uncreated. You want me to play clips from these? All right, all right, all right, all right sure. Let's go with that. I don't get it. Okay, so you believe that because now you're telling me you believe that, and then now you say no, it's great. It's stuck for a lot. Gets stuck. I know. I know what you're gonna say, but sure, let's just roll with it. Okay, no, you don't know what I'm gonna say because if the Quran is uncreated, that means Surah Al-Fatiha has no beginning, right? Sure. Now, can you recite Surah Al-Fatiha and then translate it for us? Audhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Ar Rahmanir Rahim. Malik Yomidin. Iya kana abudu wa iya kana stain. Ehdina sirat al mustaqim. Sirat al latina ana amta alayhim. Ghail al mawdubi alayhim. Walad dalin. Okay. Translate. In the name of Allah, the most compassionate, the most merciful. All praises for Allah, the Lord of the worlds, the most compassionate, the most merciful, master of the day of judgment. You alone we seek and you alone we ask help. Guide us to the straight path, the path for those who you have blessed, not those who you are displeased with, nor those who are astray. Okay, now this surah because it's Quran, it's uncreated, right? Yes. So I want everyone to know I'm not misrepresenting the position of Ahl al Sunnah wa Jama. It's uncreated. So this is a prayer, right? Yes. No, and this prayer has always existed, right? It's not our prayers. It's partly a dua and praising Allah. Okay, what is dua if it's not prayer? When you make dua, are you not praying? You get sure. So it's a prayer because you're making dua, supplication, and you're also praising. Yeah. That's what prayer is. So it's it's a prayer. Anyway, so this prayer has always existed, it has no beginning. And it's the speech of Allah, right? So this is Allah's speech, Allah speaking, right? Mm -hmm. So are you telling me that before creation, Allah is praying this prayer? And if so, to who? Allah revealed his words. It doesn't mean he said that. No, but before creation, this prayer has always been part of his speech. This is Allah's speech, Allah speaking speech. So before creation, before we reveal this, this prayer has always existed. If it always existed, who's been praying it? What? This this has to be a fallacy because can you ask you a question? It has to be what? Fallacy. Why is it a fallacy if it's a speech? Unless it's human speech. So you're saying Surat al Fatiha is not Allah's speech, it's human speech. Is the Bible no, we don't believe the Bible is uncreated. We don't believe the Bible existed before creation. We believe God inspired human authors to write down with their own human language the words that God wanted them to write. It's not the same. You're comparing oh, apples and pine. I thought Jesus came down and he preached. Jesus is not the Bible. Jesus is the eternal word who became flesh. Yes, this Jesus is the eternal word. He's the uncreated word who became human, but he's not the Bible. So we're talking about the Quran. So is the Quran like Jesus or the Quran's like the Bible? Which is it? The Quran is uncreated, yes. But so we believe Jesus is the uncreated word. So you're saying the Quran is like Jesus, right? To an extent, sure. The Quran is not a living thing. No, it is a living thing because uh, according to the hadith of your prophet, the Quran is going to come and speak to Allah and make intercession. Shifa. That's in Muslim and other sources. Surah Al Baqarah and Surah Al Imran will come as birds arguing with Allah to intercede for those that recited them. It is a living being. That's what your prophet taught. So what are, you, what, what are you trying to get at? I mean, do you want me to show you the hadith or you take my word? I can show it to you. I'll take your word, but I'm saying what, what are you trying okay. to get at? 
But you said the Quran is not a living being. Yes, it is. Okay. What are you trying so to do? now we change subject, but come back to the prayer. So you believe Allah prays? No. Because then who is praying Surah Al-Fatiha? Allah revealed it. Is by... Surah Al-Fatiha the speech of Allah? Yes. Is every word of the Quran Allah's speech? Yes. Is every ayah of Surah Al-Fatiha Allah's speech? Yes. That means you just said that Allah is speaking that prayer. It's Him praying it. Can you show me a hadith that said that Allah recited? Welcome back, guys. Before we continue with this amazing debate, the guys and uh, Sanshamo asked him if the Quran is uncreated. First, he said that Allah created it with his uncreated knowledge. Then, when Samshamon threatened to go to the hadith, he said that yes, the Quran is created. Which Samshamon was shocked at first, that knowing fully well that uh, many Muslims know and they believe that the Quran is uncreated. Then, um, the um, Samshamon asked him to to recite the surah. Then after reciting the surah, it was discovered that Allah was the one speaking. From the surah, it says that it is on, the Quran is uncreated. And if Allah is the one reciting the surah, does that mean that he is praying? And if he is praying, then who is he praying to? Let's find out more details from this amazing video. The Quran. I can show you, yeah, that Allah did recite the Quran. Yes, thank you for asking. Here, let me show it to you, right? So can you read it? And I'm going to give you another one. I'm going to give you two of the same hadith. Abu Hudayr reports God's omniscient as saying, a thousand years before creating the heaven and the earth. Uh, how many years before? A thousand years. Th thousand years. A thousand years. Okay, a thousand years before the heavens and earth were created. What did Allah do? Good, uh, God recited Taha. Yes. What did your God recite? Taha. And what else? Yeah, seed. So your God is reciting surahs a thousand years before creation? Well, if you look at it, it's very, it's fixed. What do you look at it? You asked me to show you from the hadith where Allah recites Quran. I showed it to you. Now you want to say, no, it means he was sending gifts. Did I say he was a fatiha? <laughs> Have you read Taha and Yasin where there it's praising Allah? There are praises to Allah. That means if Allah is reciting it, that means he is praising. So he's praising himself. Okay, I'm gonna, <laughs> I like you. No, I, see, I like you because the way you could answer, like, hey, oh, well, doesn't say Surah Al Fatiha, so I got you. Ha ha ha. Here it is. Abu Huraira reported God's messenger saying, A thousand years before creating the heavens and the earth, God recited Taha and Yasin. And when the angels heard the recitation, and the angels heard the recitation, they said, Happy are a people to whom this comes down. Happy are the minds which carry this, and happy are the tongues which utter this. Now, the Hadith says, A thousand years before creating what? The earth and. The other way. So now, before the heavens and earth, now can I ask you a question? If Allah's reciting Taha and Yasin a thousand years before the heavens and the earth, how in the world do you have angels there hearing the recitation before the heavens and the earth were made? So angels are not part of creation? Wait, angels are created by Allah's uncle. But it says a thousand years before the creation of the heavens and the earth, Allah recited Taha and Yasin, and the angels heard it and said, Wow, happy are those. Who received this recitation? How could angels have been there hearing Allah recite a thousand years before the creation of the heavens and the earth? Is it you not? Do you know Angel Jubail is the first word? Is the first creation? It can be the first or last or the middle. I want to know how do you have angels hearing Allah recite Taha and Yasin a thousand years before the heavens and earth were created when the angels are part of the creation of the heavens? I don't know personally. Okay, that's okay. I'm not going to press you. If you don't know, that's I respect that. You don't know, that's fine. But what you did establish was that Allah recites Quran. But can I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. Isn't part of your worship ibadah to recite Quran in your daily prayers? Yes. So I want to know if Allah is reciting the Quran, isn't that ibadah? Isn't that worship? Allah is worshiping himself. So why is Allah performing worship, ibadah? Because to recite the Quran is ibadah, it's worship. And why does Allah pray? See, I'm still stuck on that one. Alright, welcome back, guys. I believe you were able to learn something very important from this debate. One thing with them is that when you begin to ask them deep questions, they can't answer them because they don't have knowledge. The Quran, the 
cannot give explanation to those uh, to those questions. First of all, he said that some shaman asked him if the Quran is uncreated. All Muslims, they will, they will all believe that the Quran is an uncreated word of God. But the guy denied that the, the Quran is not uncreated, that the Quran was created. And when uh, some shaman threatened to go to the Hadith, he later agreed that yes, the Quran was created. And then from the surah, from the surah it says that the the Quran is all created and Allah was reciting the prayer uh, one and thousands of years before the question of heaven and earth. And Sashamu asked him, How can the angels be there to hear Allah recite the Surah since they were not created at the time? Can you see the level of lie and deception in the Quran? This house and Shaman has been exposing them for a very, very long time, and some of them don't have answered to this important question. Some Shaman has been asking them. All they do is to just keep silence so not then get angry and all that. As a Muslim watching this, I believe you have seen the truth for yourself. Alright, guys, don't forget to like, to share, and also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you.